They don't need a reason to turn into a demon. All right, what's happening? What's happening, y'all? I got a little story time video about the time that my ass got kicked out of school, almost got arrested, and they try to say that I was bringing a gun or some weird ass shit to school. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? A long ass time ago, you feel me? I went to I went so high school back in the day. You feel me? I get into it with this group of people or whatever. We just beefing this shit over some dumb ass shit, bro. Like vaping or vaping, like you know what I'm saying? I got a cart in the bathroom. What? A nigga like coming there and like telling me or some shit. It was just a thing, you feel me? Why tell him the nigga, you feel me? When niggas really, you feel me, in there doing the same shit type shit. You feel me? It's high school shit, you feel me? Like, and it's when vapes first came out. So like niggas was cracking down on that shit hard. Like, oh, you had to. He snitch on me telling me, but I hurry up and get rid of it. I don't get, yeah, you know, I don't get in no trouble that day for anything. Well, that night I go home and I'm at home and shit and I'm on my phone and shit. Bro, you feel me, chatting online and shit, texting me all this crazy ass shit. Shoot you and all this shit. He's saying this shit. I've never said no shit like this to nobody. If you know me, I don't say shit like that. You feel me? If I'm gonna do some shit, I'm gonna do some shit. You feel me? That's the type of nigga I am. Talking about, I'm gonna bring this to school and all this, bro. This like, what, junior, senior? Nah, not senior. I'm tweaking. Sophomore year. This is sophomore year, bro. I'm like, all right, bet, bro, because niggas know what I'm on. Niggas know what I'm on. I said, all right, bet. That's all I said, bro. Y'all can strike me down, bro. That's all I said. My mama can vouch for me all that, bro. Like, I ain't saying no. Nah, you see what I'm saying? They had the Instagram messages and everything. Like, all this happened on the gram, bro. I wake up the next day. I wake up for school. Go to school. It's a normal last day. My people hit me on the line. Hey, hey, meet me at the, meet me at the Hall of Excellence. We about to get lit. I'm like, what you mean? Nigga, I go to the fucking Hall of Excellence. It's like right when the school started too, so everybody just lounging around and shit, bro. When I say it's the biggest group of people, bro, like it's like 200 plus people, but it's a big ass school too. It's a five star school, 5A, 5A, 5A school or whatever, you feel me? So it's a big ass school. Out of nowhere, bro, my nigga Val, little French dude, wham, hit one dude. I'm like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? So obviously, you feel me? I'm in there, uh, da -da 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 -da. tell me why everybody, bro, Everybody like in that whole school was fighting. Bro took me to the, the principal's office and they talking to me, showing me all the messages and shit. I'm like, so where do you see me saying any of this? Like, my mom came in tweaking and shit. She's gonna file a lawsuit, all this kind of shit. It was broke at the time. I couldn't really do that. I was just getting out the hood into a good school and shit. You feel me? Niggas didn't have the money to do all that shit. Back to the hood I go type shit. That's why they couldn't press no charges because really they knew I didn't say no shit like that. That was probably one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me. They let uh, motherfuckers go home from school and all that. Hey, if you guys do want to send your kids home, they can go home today like i'm like bro what the fuck but like i said it is what it is motherfuckers who got in trouble with it you feel me about really did some shit like that but i